What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Varsity Overland channel. Today we're coming at you from one of our favorite camping spots in the Green Mountain National Forest of Vermont. And in fact, today's Black Friday, which means we were traveling yesterday on Thanksgiving. It was not as bad as we anticipated it would it might be. And uh, we enjoyed our Thanksgiving dinner on the tailgate last night, so I'll probably throw up some pictures or a quick video of that as well. Um, forecast, a little dreary, kind of rainy. It's supposed to transition to snow, so we hope we see some snow. Right now, the actual mountains in the background are kind of shrouded in fog, but maybe that'll change. Who knows? So yeah, we're in the Green Mountain National Forest. Going to film some of the adventure and uh, hope you enjoy it. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the channel and joining us on this weekend adventure to Vermont. The drive up was supposed to be just under four hours, but our GPS decided to betray us when we stopped to get gas and rerouted our destination, adding an extra hour of travel time overall. The location we used was near the town of Warren. It's a quiet little place located between two of the National Forest's mountain ranges. Service was spotty, but the views are totally worth it. We discovered this spot back in the spring by using the Gaia GPS app. It didn't mark any previously used campsites like other apps do, such as iOverlander. But it shows local forest roads, and if you have a paid subscription like we do, you can layer your maps with several options, like terrain, elevation, public lands markers, and snow closures, to name a few. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, we did travel on Thanksgiving Day and found very little traffic at all. Due to our GPS debacle adding some extra time, we pulled into camp pretty late, and by the time we set ourselves up, it was already dark. Luckily, we had our headlamps easily accessible for such occasions, and were able to light up the tailgate for a small Thanksgiving dinner using leftovers from home. We woke up Friday morning to a very light rain shower that lingered for most of the day. Although it was slightly annoying, we were able to get in a decent hike and experience our first snowfall of the season later that afternoon, which became the highlight of our weekend.
By the afternoon, the rain transitioned into snow as the temps dropped into the teens. This was our first experience camping in the snow, and it was definitely beautiful, but really cold. The iCamper insulation that I installed a couple days before the trip worked really well. We were able to stay warm overnight, and by the next morning, we were ready to go.